What is up, YouTube? So, generally speaking, and this isn't true 100% of the time, but generally speaking, when a woman wears a low cut shirt, maybe she's going out to the club or going to the pool or what have you, you know, or going to a bar, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what the situation may be. Usually, and this isn't true 100% of the time, you know, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time, when a woman wears any revealing clothing that shows off her, her body's natural figure, then you know for a fact that she's doing that because she wants attention either from the same or the opposite sex. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if a woman wants to show off her body a little bit, there's nothing wrong with that. That's, you know what I'm saying? If you got it, fucking work it if you want to. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. Okay. I kind of feel like that when women show off their tits and a dress or low-cut shirt of any kind and then turn around and say my eyes are up here it's like if you're saying that then why the fuck are you wearing that outfit sincerely it'd be no different if I walked around wearing form-fitting pants and, and said the same exact thing now if you're wearing a shirt that's flattering but it's not revealing a or anything like that, and you want to make that argument and say that, you know, my eyes are up here, that's fine, I totally get that. But if you're going to purposely wear a shirt that shows off your cleavage, and then say shit like that, it's like, really? <laughs> you know, because most of the time when women wear a shirt like that, they're trying to gain some kind of attention. And heaven forbid if the wrong guy looks, you know. But I'm sorry, but if you're an attractive person, you, you know, people are going to stare. And y you don't get to decide which guy checks you out and which guy doesn't. Because, again, if you're an attractive person, if you're an attractive female, dudes are going to stare. That's just how we are, you know what I'm saying? Um, sincerely, though, okay? And yeah, the wrong guy may stare at you from time to time. That's understandable that you're creeped out by it. But you can't honestly say you can't look at me. Because when you think about it, okay, if you're an attractive person, like I said, people are going to stare. I've had my fair share of that. You know. I've had some pretty attractive women checking me out. I'm like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then I've had some not so attractive women checking me out. And it's just like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And there's nothing you can do about it, really. And I have this attitude towards it that whether you find her attractive or not, if she's checking you out, that just means you're an attractive person. You know what I'm saying? That's just my attitude, anyway. And it has been for the longest time. You know what I'm saying? Like, if a woman finds you attractive, that's... Even if, you, even if you're not attracted to that kind of woman... You know what I'm saying? You should still take it as a compliment. And the same can be said for women, okay? If you're an attractive young woman, or it's just an attractive woman in general, and guys check you out, even if it's not the right guy, okay? Um, now, if he's being super creepy about it, that's one thing. Okay, that's completely uncalled for and unnecessary. But if he's being like any other guy, and being like, it's nice. Going back to their, you know what I'm saying? If it's casual, nonchalant, you know. Um, then yeah, you know, if if the guy is being casual and polite about it, then why the fuck do you care? You know what I'm saying? Now, even if you take the attractiveness out of the equation, most people, I guarantee you, don't like being stared at constantly. That's just, yeah. That could get creepy after a minute. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? But generally speaking, if you're in a social situation where you're wearing a low cut shirt or some sort of article of clothing that shows off your boobs, and then 
you make that argument of my eyes are up here, okay? If you didn't want guys looking down there, then why the fuck are you wearing a shirt that does that? That's a good question, isn't it? That's something to think about, YouTube, is if you don't want people staring at you in a certain way, then dress a certain way. Now, is it fair that society does this, that society will judge you for the way you dress? No, it's not fair. It's complete horseshit. But, you know, that's to be expected. And I'll use myself as an example. You walk around, you know, like me, for instance, with my long-ass fucking hair, um, my spikes, you know, all black clothing and what have you. People, are, people might judge and fuck them. They don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? That's just my attitude towards that. But... Regardless, okay, especially if you're a larger chested woman, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're, if you're a woman with larger boobs and you're purposely wearing a shirt that shows them off, how are you going to make that argument, okay? Now, if, if that's all he's doing is staring at your boobs, okay, that, okay, that I can totally understand. That might get a little creepy. But what do you expect when you're wearing a shirt like that? Okay, you're going to play with a man's hormones like that. You see what I'm saying? Like, that would be no different than me walking around wearing uh, form-fitting pants and then getting mad when, when people check out my bulge. Like, really? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, YouTube? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Do you know what I am saying, YouTube? Yeah, of course you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And hey, look, if you got a smoking hot body and you want to show it off, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're going to show off your body a little bit, you're going to get attention. And sometimes you may not always like it. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um... That's basically what I was trying to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, this this is something that I was thinking about earlier today. I'm like, how is it that women who show off their tits all the goddamn time pull that whole, my eyes are up here, bullshit argument? Well, it's not bullshit when you're not trying to show them off. You're just trying to be casual, you know what I'm saying? But if you're deliberately wearing an outfit that shows them off, dudes are going to stare. It's just the nature of it, you know what I'm saying? So you really, you really can't get that mad when a dude checks you out, especially if you're wearing an outfit that shows off your woman, your womanly figure. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? Oh yes, tomorrow is America's birthday, and um, and uh, I might go to a barbecue with some friends of mine, or I might go spend it with my family. One of the two. Um, but tomorrow I gotta go to the bank and withdraw the money for rent and internet and what have you and go take care of that. And then tomorrow I'm also gonna buy me a lottery ticket. Just check this out. I found a dollar and quarters in my pocket. And a Mega Million ticket is only one dollar. And the Mega Million is over... 449 million. Yeah, 44900. Yeah. That's a lot of fucking money. And um I like playing the lottery just because the, the what if factor, you know. And if I think if I had a hard time getting a girlfriend now, if I won the lottery, that wouldn't be difficult, you know. But the thing about dating and winning the lottery is you gotta be careful, man. I don't wanna date some woman and have her love me just because I have a shit ton of money, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the only downside, I guess, to finding uh, romance if you have a lot of money, is that do these women actually love you for you, or do they just like you because you have a shit ton of money? And most guys wouldn't care. If they, if they had a shit ton of money, and the women only love them for their money, they wouldn't care, you know. 
But then that money runs out, and where do you think she's gonna go? She's gonna dump your ass quicker than you can say hell's bells. You don't uh, see me with my hair down too often anymore. I'm usually wearing it in a ponytail. And I usually have my bandana on. But it's good to let the hair down every once in a while. I hate when women pull that shit, man. That, that shit just flat out pisses me off. And women who know they're attractive, and then they have this stuck-up, self-centered, vain attitude about it. Like, they sit there and say certain guys can look at them, certain guys can't. That shit really just pisses me off. Like, last time I checked, the world doesn't revolve around you, honey. First of all. Second of all, you're an attractive person, and you know it. So, people are going to stare, you know? That's just... Yeah. But yeah, I've known a fair few to do that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? And women who act like that need a reality check, man. See, when women call me a creep, they don't even fucking know me. That's the thing. I think they're just judging me by the way I dress, you know. And if I choose to dress a certain way, then I'm going to get treated a certain way. That's just our society. You know, and the same can be said, the same can be said if a woman dresses provocatively. Society might view her as a slut, even though she, she could be the nicest person in the world and she just wants to feel sexy understandable, right? But from an outsider's perspective, she might get that judgment from others. And truth has been said when I say we live in a very judgmental society. Like women who get pissed off at men because they seem to think, and th this isn't true of all women, but there are certain women out there who might get pissed off at men and say things like, well, all men do is see women for their bodies, and blah, 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 blah. 
that's not necessarily true of all men. You know what I'm saying? Not all men are like that. And to be fair, women have a type too. Trust and believe. Women who give shit to men for having a type are hypocrites because they have a type too. Yeah. If a woman gets pissed off at me for having standards, I'm like, well, wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. What kind of guy are you into? And she starts going off about what kind of guy she's into. And I'm like, see, that's my point exactly. You have a type two. You have a type of guy you're into, so shut the fuck up. Don't give me shit about having a type of girl that I'm into when you have standards too. That that's that's bullshit. The thing of it is, though, YouTube, is that attractive people know they're attractive. And depending on, you know what I'm saying, how they view themselves, if they act like stuck-up snobs about it, act like the whole world revolves around them, you know what I'm saying, shallow people like that just flat-out piss me off. They're annoying to be around. But if you're an attractive person and you're modest about it, you know what I'm saying? That's where it's at right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, okay, I know I'm an attractive person, okay? But I'm not in your face about it. I'm very modest about my attractiveness. I don't act like, okay, I don't act like the world revolves around me. You know, I sure as hell ain't self-obsessed either. Um, I have that, um, mysterious stranger thing going on about me. It's almost, you could call it a vampiric, gothic sex appeal. And, uh, some women find that shit irresistible. Some women are turned off by it. You know. And, uh, it's because of these things that, um, It's because of that factor that, yes, yeah, some women will definitely check me out. There's no denying that. But just because you're an attractive person, YouTube, it doesn't mean shit. Now, granted, yes, yeah, you might get treated differently in society, but that's about as far as it goes. So that, that's something something to consider if you're an attractive person. Is don't act like, you know what I'm saying, like the world revolves around you and shit. Because that's horse crap. Absolute horse crap. It's like I said, you know, if you're not trying to show off your tits and you got some dude staring at you, you have more inclined to say my eyes are up here. But if you're purposely wearing an outfit that shows off your boobs and you want to say shit like that, you really can't blame a guy for looking because you're doing it. You're the one invoking the stare a little bit. 
know. Now, if the guy's being being a complete sleaze ball, you have every right to be pissed off and defensive. But if a heterosexual man is checking you out, and you and you are in an outfit that causes him to want to check you out, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people say that they're attracted to people's personalities, which that's a bullshit statement. Because you can't be attracted to someone's personality until you actually get to know them. So, you can call me shallow all you want to, but the first thing people will notice about each other is the way they look. That is the fucking truth, okay? You cannot, you cannot honestly say the first thing you find attra attractive about a person is their personality. Because if you don't know that person, then you can't say that. From a distance, however, the first thing you're going to notice, okay, the very first thing you're going to notice about a woman is her body and the way she looks, the way she dresses, the way she carries herself. And that's the same thing for women who check out men. The first thing that women are going to notice about dudes is the way he carries himself, the way he dresses, you know what I'm saying, the way he looks, his body, so... Women are just as guilty of being horny and obsessive over bodies as men are. Just as guilty of it. And trust and believe, YouTube, there is nothing wrong with it. Okay, there is nothing wrong with finding someone attractive sexually. There is nothing wrong with it. It's a very natural human instinct. Okay. Now... Okay, I've I've had less attractive women f check me out, and you know it it kind of grosses me out. It kind of you know what I'm saying like Ugh, you know what I'm saying, but I don't act like a jerk when it happens. You know what I'm saying. If anything, I smile casually and I embrace it a little bit because it just means I'm an attractive person. You know. I've even caught some really attractive women checking me out before, and, you know, that, that always seems to brighten my day a little bit. But, um, you know, when it, my standards aren't that high, though, YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you want a good relationship for, like, dating and stuff. You need to have a physical attraction from the start, okay? If you find her attractive physically and she finds you attractive physically, right there you got a good start, okay? Then you start talking and you seem to click really well. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. But if it's all physical and no mental attraction, it's just, it's not going to be as fun. But if it's all mental attraction and no physical attraction, you know what I'm saying? It won't work as good, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you too, and this is the sucky part of it, is you could find this particular girl super attractive, both physically and what have you, but that doesn't mean she'll feel the same way about you. And vice versa, you know what I'm saying? She could find you super attractive, but if you're not into her, then there's nothing you could do about it. Like, I hate having a craving, okay? I hate, I hate having a craving for female companionship and then not being able to do a goddamn thing about it. I mean, by all standards, you'd think I'd be swimming in pussy right now. Good looks, huge muscles, huge penis, amazing singing skills, amazing guitar skills, a decent person once you get to know, know me a little bit. But no, you know, people, like, this goes back to what I said earlier. Women are going to look at the way I dress and, you know, if they want to judge me for the way I dress and what have you, that's their loss, honestly, you know.
women who bitch about wanting a nice guy in their life to date, but then they friend zone every nice guy they meet. It's like, straight up. Yeah, um, you know what I'm saying, YouTube? Or guys who bitch about wanting a nice girl to date, but they constantly date gold diggers. It's like, well, you have no one to blame but yourself on that one. You know? And this goes for both men and women. If you're tired of dating assholes and sluts, then learn to pick better people. Okay? Trust and motherfucking belief. Okay? Sluts will turn nice guys into assholes, and assholes will turn... Asshole men will turn nice women into sluts. Trust and motherfucking believe. It happens every fucking time. Okay? And if you're... Okay, and if you're going through struggles with your dating, if you're having a hard time finding the right person... It can be depressing, it can be discouraging, it can make you lose all faith in humanity. But you gotta be patient and wait. Eventually you'll find somebody. You know. I mean, you, you look at me for example, okay? I get lonely and it's depressing, but I deal with it, you know what I'm saying? And I keep hearing people on Facebook and YouTube say, don't worry Josh, you'll find the right girl one day, you just gotta wait, you know? Waiting sucks. Okay, the waiting game sucks. But we spend our whole lives waiting, YouTube. We spend our whole lives waiting from the moment we're born to the moment we to the moment we die, okay? From the moment we're born to the moment we die, we spend our whole lives waiting. Waiting to come out of the womb, waiting for death to take us. Waiting in line at the grocery store, waiting in line to get to go to the bank, waiting for that girl to call us back, waiting for that job interview, waiting, waiting, waiting. We spend our whole lives waiting, YouTube. New, new, new. Video to upload, waiting to see whether or not we, we, we get into that school, waiting on the waiter or waitress to get back with our food or or to uh, take our order, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you go to the doctor, you're waiting for test results. See what I'm saying? We, uh, we spend our whole lives waiting, YouTube. We do, we do. Life is but one giant hotel. We check in, we check out. If you stop and think about it, we spend our, this is true, we spend our whole lives waiting. You got something in the oven, guess what, you're waiting for it to get done. Cooking on the stove, waiting for that to get done. Washing your dishes, waiting for them to dry. Watching TV, waiting for the commercials to get over. Getting a shower started, waiting for the water to get just right. But I will say this, YouTube, and I will say this with the most sincerity here, is some things are worth the wait. Okay? Uh, some things are most definitely worth the wait. It can be discouraging trying to wait for the right person to date when, you know, you're antisocial. Because I'll be honest with you, YouTube. I know if it wasn't obvious before, but I'm an antisocial kind of person. That's part of having Asperger's Syndrome. Is that I'm generally an antisocial person.
But, uh, yeah, that's my whole two cents for this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll catch you on later.